The final Pharaohs testnet is here and this is the Pharaohs Atlantic testnet. So in this video, we will provide you with a complete guide on what to do and how to qualify for the upcoming and confirmed PHRS airdrop. So before we begin, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and let's dive straight into it. Now, once again, my friends, we are back over on the Pharaohs testnet, which as you know, we are here to qualify for the airdrop. And that is of course, by completing the Atlantic testnet, the final phase before the mainnet goes live. However, before we continue, we just wanted to share this thread over on X where you can see everything about the Pharaoh's Atlantic Ocean testnet. Down below, my friends, you can see everything about it. So what's new? POS and tokenomics, modular architecture, X, Y, and Z, all of the technology. And you can see here, we've got a new social task, which is the Creators Arena Wave 2, which will only be for a few people. However, you've also got on-chain tasks, which we'll show you how to do. The journey ahead snapshot and migration from the first testnet so they've obviously taken a snapshot and migrated over to the next testnet which is of course the atlantic one next validator program for top performing community nodes new ecosystem incentives and partner integrations two testnet continuity for smooth transition and mainnet launch on track q1 2026 so guys it could very well happen within the next two to five months and that is not that long away so we want to maximize on our transactions volume and activity on the pharaohs network before the airdrop goes live so once you're ready my friends we're now going to head over to the pharaohs testnet where once again we need to get ourselves logged in i'm going to be using the same exact wallet as i did with the other test nets next once we are here guys we now need to get testnet tokens specifically for the pharaohs atlantic testnet so how do we do so well if we scroll down we can see here that we've got a new section where we are going to claim testnet tokens again we are able to claim these tokens every few hours this time we can claim them every 12 hours in comparison to the last one which was every 24 hours this time the tokens look a lot less so we only get 0.01 however once you're ready to get your tokens you're going to click i'm not a robot fantastic going to get them now as you can see straight away you would have received them Next, for more testnet tokens, we're going to head to the need more tokens section over here. Once you're ready, we're going to see that we've got a few testnet tokens that we can get from. However, the first option is Pharaoh Swap. So if you go over to Pharaoh Swap, you can see that we've got a full set over here. So we need to get ourselves logged in. Straight away, it comes up with your details. So then you very simply follow Pharaoh Swap over on X. Exactly what I'm going to do. Come back over. I'm not a robot. Thank you very much. Service is busy. No problem. We'll give it a refresh. If it doesn't work right now, then of course, we'll come back in a few minutes to a few hours to get our testnet tokens. Nonetheless, it must have processed it already because as you can see, it says the request limit has been reached. No worries whatsoever. Once again, guys, there's a couple more full sets which you can use in the future, which is going to be BitGet and Topnod. But there's also one more from Zan, which you can do by heading over here. Next, all you're going to do is get yourselves logged in. After that, you'll be able to choose the network, but it automatically pops up. Next, I'm going to grab my wallet address, which you can see up here. I'm now going to take it down over here and paste it. Boom. Remember as well, guys, that this is the Atlantic testnet, not the old testnet, which we can't use anymore. However, once you've claimed your testnet tokens and we've done the testnet tokens from both the full sets, what we're going to do is we're now going to add the Pharaoh's Atlantic testnet. So all we need to do is hit add now. Boom, you can see all of the details. Make sure you're happy. If you are, click add and boom, as you can see, we are good to go. We've now got the Pharaoh's Atlantic testnet. From here, we are now going to move over to the experience section. And friends, once again, you need to check yourself in. As you can see, I've done two days out of these seven days of this week. And now we've also got ourselves a new level to unlock, which is level six. In the previous season of season two, the maximum level was level five. But now with level six, we want to, of course, get the most XP possible to get the biggest airdrop possible. So from here, my friends, now that we've got the network set up, now that we've got our testnet tokens, we can see the first quest that we need to complete. Every single season, we've got the send token to friends. So all we need to do to prepare is first head up into your wallet, make sure that you've got another wallet that you can use. So for example, this one, we can come over here, get the wallet address, come back over to burner, which is the one that I'm using on Pharos. Going to get myself logged in once again, because for some reason it locked me out. Down below, we're now going to go to send token to friends. So if we hit send, as you can see, we've now got our 0.02 testnet tokens, which we got earlier. However, if you just want to choose a minuscule amount, it could very well be 0.0001 Pharaoh's token. You can do so. It just requires any transaction. It doesn't matter how much the volume is. Next, send Atlantic PHRS. It will take literally a couple seconds, as you can see. And boom, that's how it's done. So simple, super easy. And that is the first quest done. 
After that, we will be waiting for the Top Nod section to come live soon. In the second season, we had another platform, which was this one over here. I can't remember what it was called. However, we've got the next one coming soon, which is Top Nod, and we'll be back with a Pharaoh's Atlantic Part 2 in the near future. After that, my friends, we've got the invite section. So, of course, if you've got any friends that want to join the Pharaoh's Testnet before the airdrop goes live, now is the time to do so, and you can earn yourself some XP. Next, we've got the RWA file. In the last season, we also had another quest in the RWA file, which was another protocol known as Aquaflux. This time, we've got a new one called Assetu. And if we head over here, guys, get ourselves logged in once again, as you can see. Next, after that, we need to follow Asset2 over on X. Thank you very much. Come back over. Get yourself 10 Pharaoh's Testnet USDT. That's exactly what we want to do. Claim successful. After that, we can add the token to our wallet if we wanted to. Nice and easy. Next, after that, guys, down below, we're going to be able to deposit directly into this protocol in order to earn ourselves XP to level up over on Pharaoh's Testnet and, of course, stack up transactions and build up some volume. So now that we've got our USDT here, as you can see, if I was to enter the maximum amount, I want to get it into cash. Cash Plus is a one-to-one -one asset backed team collateralized by the CMS USD Money Market Fund, which invests in high quality, short-term USD instruments. It offers both individual and institutional investors instant stablecoin liquidity combined with low risk yields that track money market rates. Fantastic. So once you're ready, guys, we're going to confirm. I'm not too happy with this website because every time I scroll down a little bit, it pulls me back up or pulls me down to the next section. Very annoying. But I'm going to continue after this. Next, you can see that we need to subscribe. So we're going to get 10 cash plus. Remember, guys, this is completely free because it is a test network and there is no real monetary value. So we've now got ourselves 10 cash plus submitted. Here, my friends, we want to come back every 24 hours or so, maybe every other day, to then, of course, convert into Cash Plus, where you can then, of course, stack up transactions and get yourselves more XP over on the Pharaoh's Testnet. So, guys, that is very simply that platform done. We've completely done it already. You can always redeem your Cash Plus into USDT if you wanted to, but what is the point? Next, my friends, we've got the last on-chain task right now, and that is by collecting NFTs over on Grandline. Now, it says it's coming soon over here. However, I've gone to the Grandline website itself, and you can see over on the Testnet Atlantic badge that we've got a section here of its own. It's currently offline for maintenance, my friends, but by the time you're watching this video, hopefully it won't be offline for maintenance, and you just need to get yourselves this NFT. And I'll show you an example of how to do it. So basically, if you were to go over there, and once it is ready, all you would need to do is, as you can see, first of all, you need to get yourselves logged in. I'm going to be using an example by using the previous testnet because as you can see here, in the last season where we covered it on our YouTube channel, we've got all of these NFT collections over here. And as you can see, the Pharaoh's testnet badge I've already got. So I can't actually get this one again because it is limited to one. But the only one I didn't get in my collection was the Zenith testnet badge. And all you need to do is very simply go mint and it's going to cost yourself one PHRS token. Now, I don't know how much the next Atlantic NFT is going to cost. I've just got myself this one and it was one PHRS token, which of course has no real monetary value, but requires a few testnet full sets to get to that stage of one PHRS. Now, because the testnet is now giving us smaller amounts of testnet tokens for the PHRS Atlantic testnet, of course, it might not be one PHRS token to get this NFT, but it might not be the case, guys, and we just want to very simply get ready for the Testnet Atlantic badge by getting over to the full set every single 12 hours and getting your Testnet tokens, which you can see on the main page. Now, of course, guys, it depends on how much it's going to cost. I don't think it will cost one PHRS token, but of course, that is the best way to prepare by getting yourselves those Testnet tokens. So once the coming soon badge has come off, we'll then be able to get your NFT, and that is going to be another quest complete. Once again, guys, you want to come back here every 24 hours or every 48 hours to complete transactions over on Pharaohs. The more transactions that you're stacking up, the more that you'll be recognized as a top user. The next final bit to do, guys, we've already done it before because these were part of season two and season one. And that is all the very simple social quests. Follow, like, retweet, reply, join the Discord. It's all simple and all self-explanatory. And you can do it all yourself if you haven't got all these green ticks. Myself, I do. Next, guys, 
on your own you can explore the ecosystem on your own here as well so in the future i'm sure for atlantic testnet we're going to have more quests where it will tie in with all of these protocols here within their ecosystem i'm very excited for this airdrop guys it seems to be very smooth the experience they seem to be very community incentivized and that is exactly what we want to see i don't think this will be the biggest airdrop in the world but it could very well be a few digits who knows and that's exactly what we're aiming for just by spending a few minutes every single day on Pharaohs, we could get ourselves a lovely airdrop. Friends, we definitely will be back with a part two for the Atlantic testnet of Pharaohs, but for now, we know exactly what to do. We are very early to this testnet, and the earlier you are, the better off you will be, in my personal opinion. Now, friends, once again, thank you very much for tuning in. If you have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to let us know in the comment section down below. If you have any requests whatsoever, let us know. You can also hit me up over on X if you prefer. It's entirely up to you. But friends, thank you once again, and we'll see you in the next video.